I am back to talk to you about some of the bassoon goodies that I have been buying as part of my summer projects. First up, I have been buying thread. Now, I use the thread in part to catalog the reads that I make. Uh, this helps me so that when I look into my read box, I can tell you just by the color of wrapping what profile I used, what shape I used, and also what vintage of cane it is. Because I'm going to be looking at different types of cane, I decided I needed some new thread. So from Hodge, I picked up this sky blue thread. This is the most perfect color. It is not purple, it is not blue, it is in between the two, and I'm in love. Um, I will say that the thread from Hodge does have a little bit of a waxy feel to it, unlike other threads that I purchased from um, like RDG. I did pick up two other types from them but this does have a little bit of a waxy feel to it. Um, it works just like all the other FF threads that I've ever used though. From RDG, I picked up a uh, raspberry beret and I also picked up another blue thread because I have a thing for blue. Um, I picked up, I think it's called blue buckle. Um, I have to give it to RDG when they name their threads that uh, it's not just like blue, pink, no, no, they name them like Raspberry Beret. They even have one that is called like Plastic Pink Flamingo and their brown is Brown Cow. Um, I don't know what it is, but it makes it so much more satisfying to buy thread from them. So I did pick up two other colors to help me note the vintages of the types of cane. My favorite form of social media has to be Instagram. And when a bassoonist that I follow and know very well posted a picture of a book on bassoon that I had not seen, I went out and ordered it probably like the next day within the week. Um, the bassoon technique by Archie Camden um, was mentioned by this bassoonist as a go-to method for everything that you would ever need on bassoon. Um, this book I did find was out of print and I had to order it on used books through Amazon, but I have to say it is worth it. It has some of the most beautiful images of um, bassoon pictures in the front of it and it also has just the most lighthearted tone. Um, in the portion on reads it says, you know, you need to learn how to be able to play on good fair reads, but if you find a really good one, consider it an act of God. Um, so it, it has such a lighthearted tone great book. It also has portions on vibrato. Um, there was a bit on how to parse a phrase so you learn great practice technique. It has everything in it you could need. So this was a recommendation that I saw on Instagram that I picked up and that now I'm recommending to you guys. The next piece is a piece that is near and dear to my heart. For those of you that have been following my blog for quite some time, you'll know that within the past year, I have purchased my uh, Heckel bassoon and also had it completely overhauled. Um, I looked at a lot of different bassoons before I actually purchased my Heckel bassoon. Um, I tried about 15 to 20 of them before I settled on one that was a match for me and my sound and what I wanted to put out there. Um, I will say that a lot of girls I know are waiting for that magic ring on their ring finger and that has never been me. The way most girls search for dates or for the one was the way I was on my heckle journey. So um, there weren't a lot of people that were strong advocates for me, uh, helping me find the instrument. I think when you're in college and you have a teacher that is um, in with all of the heavy brokers, um, many of those students were getting, uh, they were getting first call over the instruments over me, but I held out. I held out largely because of my yoga guru who was insistent that my personal voice was so important and valuable to the artistic community that I needed to find the best instrument to help me portray the sound that I wanted to. Um, we had a very special conversation um, at a Christmas party. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold it together. Um, and she called me over because she had spent a considerable amount of time in Germany and while she was in Germany, she had bought a uh, full orchestra of little figurines. And in that orchestra, um, she had a little bassoonist that um, was an angel. And she had little blonde hair, just like me. Now, the orchestra members are sitting down. My little member is standing up because I had to get my own. 
and um, I wanted the most important, which was standing up. But I will say that the ones that are sitting down are super cute because uh, their little bums hang out in the back. So when you look at the back of them, uh, their skirts are just not quite long enough when they sit down. So uh, real life, real life there with the angel world as well. Um, okay, so my guru, who has since passed away, pulled me over and told me how important I was and showed me her orchestra. And uh, because I don't get to work with her as regularly anymore because she has passed on, I needed to go and find my little figurine that reminded of her, reminded me of her and how important my artistic voice is to the world. Um, and I have to say that I think she was part of the reason that I was able to find my heckle bassoon. I think she put some good universal energy out there um, after she had passed on to help me. So thank you. Okay, on to the types of cane that I am going to be going over this summer. Um, I am going to be reviewing several different types. I have purchased gouged shaped and profiled, but also um, just gouged so that I have some that if you do not have your own profiler and shaper, I can give you the uh, specs on it and also find something that hopefully works great for my students. But also I can evaluate how well I like the cane and use it on my own systems for myself. So let's go through the different types of cane that I've gotten. Okay, so the first bunch of cane that I've gotten is from Charles Double Reed. Um, from Charles Double Reed, I picked up their standard Charles cane that is, of course, just profiled. Charles cane that is uh, gouge shaped and profiled. And these are called CBP910. Hold on, let me pull out the receipt and see what these were. Okay, so the... Um, cane that I picked up from Charles, I got the Van Doren and I also got the Pisoni. And let me just say the cost of the Van Doren cane, I'm expecting a lot from it because it was coming in with the GSP cane at $15.75 a piece. So I think I only got like two pieces of it so that I get a kind of evaluation of it. But then I also got some that isn't. But Van Doren has to think very highly of themselves because uh, that's for $10 more, I could have gotten a completely made read from several manufacturers. So I'm interested to see how that cane works out. Um, I also picked up the Pisoni. The Pisoni is also not cheap. Um, it was a little bit less expensive, about half the price of the Van Doren at in at 835 a piece but still for eight dollars and 35 cents per piece of GSP cane I'll be expecting a lot and if you want to make sure that you uh, keep up with the reviews of the cane be sure to subscribe because I will be talking through it and nobody wants to buy a whole bunch of cane if it's if it's not good especially for that cost okay from RDG I picked up the Cote d'Azur um, I think that's how you say it Cote d'Azur is that it? Okay, leave me a comment if I'm saying it inappropriately. And if I am, I'm sorry, because when I do a full review on it, I don't want to say it wrong. Um, again, I did pick up the GSP and the plane. Um, I also picked up some Midir um, and some Glotan. Now, I worked a lot with Glotan when I did my uh, undergraduate and graduate degrees, and I found that the Glotan was just a little bit bright back in the day, um, but it's been several years since then, and I do want to try the cane to see if it was or is the same as it was back in the day. And I got one other bundle that just says France. So hold on, let me check my receipt. The France cane is the RDG special type of cane. So I will be covering all of those different types of cane, giving you a review, trying to tell you about probably what profile is, where the heart's coming in on it. If you uh, watched my last uh, review on the JLE cane, you'll kind of have an idea of what to expect for that. But if you don't want to miss out, be sure to uh, subscribe so that you can hear about my thoughts on all of the different types of cane um, that I've been testing this summer. If you liked this video of items that I've been purchasing, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So I decided to do the 50 facts about me. Now I'm not good at counting, so we're gonna see how close I actually get to 50 facts about me. I am originally from Oregon.